High quality product images can have a big impact on the success of your store. Customers love high quality photos. Photos make your store look great. And by adding multiple photos to your product pages, you'll give customers an opportunity to really inspect your products before making their purchase. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up a product image gallery on any product page. We'll also take another look at those image settings we looked at during the settings module. And I'll point you to a plugin you can use to resize thumbnail images. That's a process that can solve quite a few common image problems. First, let me show you how to create a product image gallery. I'm in WooCommerce editing an existing product. Uh, this just happens to be an affiliate product. That really doesn't make a difference. You can do this with any product type. And I've set up a product image here using the featured image option. It's actually the product image option when you're doing a, an image on a product. And let's jump over to this product page. And you can see there's the product image with the product description and name and price. Looks like a normal product page. Now, that's a single product image. We can make this page so much better by creating an image gallery with a bunch of other photos that customers can look at to really get a close look at what this product looks like. And we'll do that by setting up an image gallery. And we do that right beneath the product image. There's an option to create a, an image gallery. Let me click on this link here. And that takes me to my media library. And this is just like adding photos for the featured product image or anywhere else on your WordPress website. I've got the option to click the Upload tab, at which point I can drag and drop images onto this panel here. And they'll be uploaded to WordPress automatically, at which point I can select them to put in this gallery. So I'm going to select multiple photos, and I will do that by holding down the Shift key while I click on these photos. And as I select each one of these photos, I have an option to edit some of the data on the right here. And it's a good idea when you're creating uh, image galleries or adding images anywhere on your website to fill in the title and the alt text values here. Uh, those uh, provide, in certain contexts, provide additional information to your users. Uh, if they're using certain kinds of browsers, they'll see the description or the alt text. Uh, as well as search engines will index the title and alt text will appear in the code underneath. So there's a little bit of SEO value in there as well. Plus, it helps you when you're in WordPress working in the image gallery. If you've got proper titles set up on your images, then you can search by title rather than looking at these obscure file names that are sometimes generated by cameras. So let me add... I'm going to go ahead and make the title and the alt text the same here. Okay, so now I've gone through each one of these images and I've added some title text and I've copied that over to the alt text. And they're all selected and I used my shift key to just click on the individual thumbnail images that I see here. So now I've selected the images that I want to put in the image gallery. And I add these to the gallery by clicking the blue button that says add to gallery. And now I see those product images in the product image gallery below the main product image. I'm going to go ahead and update this product and we can go take a look at the gallery on the page here, on the product page. So when I reload this product page, you'll see there are the thumbnail images. Now if I click on any one of these images, I will see that image in a light box. And as I hover my mouse over this, I see the different thumbnail images below. I can click on any one of those to jump to that image, or I can use the navigation to page through this collection of photos. So it really couldn't be much easier to build an image gallery for any product. Now let's take a second to revisit those product image settings we looked at during the settings module. These control how WordPress resizes images when you upload them to a product page. So under WooCommerce settings, and then under the product tabs, and then under the display submenu, you have to dig a little bit to get to these, you've got the product image sizing. And when you upload a product image, WordPress will create all of these different sizes for different places on your site. One for the catalog image, one for the product image, which is the product page. The thumbnails that we were just looking at on the product page that lead to the product image gallery. But the point is that there are all these different images and all these different sizes, and you may find that they're not working quite right with your theme. And you really need to look to your theme documentation to see what images are recommended for WooCommerce. Uh, most theme authors will let you know what size images their theme is expecting. Uh, and then you'll have to adjust these settings accordingly. 
Now, one thing to keep in mind is WordPress resizes images when you upload them. So if you change these settings after the fact, if you find out that your images are supposed to be set to a different size and you change them and set, update your settings and your images still look wrong, it's because WordPress does not go back and change the size of images that have already been uploaded. To do that, you need a special plugin. And the plugin you're looking for is called Regenerate Thumbnails. And Regenerate Thumbnails solves the problem of changing those thumbnail image sizes after you change the image size settings. And you'll find Regenerate Thumbnails in the WordPress plugin directory. You can search for it by name in your WordPress dashboard under Plugins, Add New. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. It appears, when it's active, it appears under the Tools menu. You'll have a Regenerate Thumbnails submenu item. And so Regenerate Thumbnails solves the problem of changing your image sizes for every image you have uploaded if you change your settings after you've uploaded them. Clicking this button will fix all of the old images. And so what it's doing here is it's going through every single image in my media library, and it's updating the size to those new settings that I just set. And when it's done, all of my images will have been resized, and I can go refresh a page in my browser, and at that point the image sizes should look right. So now it's telling me all of my images have been resized. And that's a lesson on making product image galleries in WooCommerce, along with some notes on properly sizing your images and using the Regenerate Thumbnail plugin to resize images.